Welcome to Interview 5.0. We are here at Batman's secondary house hideout for an exclusive interview. Let us welcome Batman. Uh, good afternoon to you too. It's really beautiful today. It's a beautiful day. Good afternoon, Batman. It's not normal for the public to even see you in broad daylight, is it? I mean, people normally don't see you out in the daytime. Well, you know, there was this time where I did have to fight in broad daylight because it really wasn't a choice. And that's when I had to fight Bane. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a really tough to fight. And, well, he organized the attack. And, well, not really organized the attack. It's that, that bomb was going to go off in the middle of the day. So I'm like, I can wait till night to fight everybody. But, uh, you know, it's, I almost always, I would say I just luck out and everything happens at nighttime in this city. Nothing ever happens during the day, and if it does, I mean, the, the cops can deal with that then. I mean, everybody, everybody can see that the cops should be dealing with it in broad daylight. So what kind of toll does this take on you? I mean, you know, you go, you're going out from dusk till dawn, trying to round up the criminals of Gotham? I mean, what, what does that do to you? Is it, does it take a, a toll on you? Uh, to tolls? I don't, I, don't, I don't pay tolls. In fact, I try to avoid toll booths, you know, and then... Well, when I do have to go through a toll booth, I hit that booster in the back, and I just boom, right through it. And you know, I, just, I just pray that the toll booth is empty, you know. I don't want to kill people, that's just not my style. What kind of vehicle is the Batmobile? Can you, can you give us any details? Can you tell us any of the features that are on it? Uh, well, the thing with the vehicle, that's, uh, that's technically classified, I mean... The thing's a military-grade vehicle, I and mean, that's originally what it was supposed to be for, was to was for the military, but we painted it black, and, uh, like I said, there's a turbo on it, there's, uh, there's, like, some machine guns or something like that. Um, I really don't want to go into too much detail, it's just, Alfred knows more about that than I do. I, I just use the thing. Was there ever any real relationship between you and Selena Kyle? A.K.A. Catwoman? Well, uh, Selena, the Catwoman, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had a pretty good go with her, you know, and I, I loved her up until uh, I found out one night that she's actually a hermaphrodite. And that was a big turn off. I mean, I, I thought that it'd be sexy for a while when I was younger, but then when I actually saw one, it happened to be her. And I kind of threw up in my mouth. It wasn't a pretty sight, so yeah, they, that kind of ended it right there. Can you tell us some more details about what actually happened to Robin? And if the Joker was actually involved? We, we don't know much other than what we saw in this, this last, this last uh, escapade of yours that you, we can say you had. Can you give us more information on that? So, uh, yeah, Robin. Uh, we, were, we were out, well, it was supposed to be a bank robbery. And we got there and it was a trap. And, you know, just, uh... The Joker set it all up. Yeah, it was a Joker. As a matter of fact, he got he got Robin in his trap, and he, he pulled his pants down. He, he pulled his pants down, and you know he just he, he went, um, oh, yeah. I think that's a bit too much information for even our audience. Oh, okay, uh, you're right. It's getting a little bit graphic. So we're gonna have to stop you right there with that one. Uh, okay. We have heard rumors that you have a drinking problem. Is that true, or is it just baseless accusations? Uh, yeah, um, the thing about my drinking, you know, is just, I've been caught a couple times with beer, but it's, uh, it's been off the job, and it's been willing that, that I be seen with the beer. Um, I, I've been trying to get some sponsorships. You know, is Bruce Wayne has his own thing going on. And he can't have any money technically tied to Batman. So Batman has been looking for sponsors. And that's why I had that dose that keys a couple times. I, I think I had a bottle of Bailey's at one point. But uh, there's been random times where I just made sure I've been filmed while having, you know, having a beer in my hand. So I, I want that sponsor. The beer companies pay good money. Well, I can see where people are coming from with that. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we have today, and I thank you for watching Interview 5.0. Be sure to check out other videos from our production studio, such as 5 Second Answers. Have a good day.